Hi everybody. Today I'm going to try changing a tire on my travel trailer. Uh, I've never tried that before, but I just thought I should probably practice it one time just in case I ever do have to change a flat tire and make sure I have all the equipment that I need to do it. So let's find out just what is involved in changing a tire on a travel trailer. To see more videos like this, click the subscribe button below. Click the bell and you'll be notified of new videos as they are produced. Before we get started, there's a few things that you should have. One is a couple pieces of wood to put under the jack uh, that you're going to use to jack up the trailer because uh, the area that you're going to need to jack is pretty high up there and I don't think uh, a normal scissor jack is going to work. Number two, I bought myself a four ton bottle jack which I'm going to use and that ought to handle it. The trailer only weighs two tons so this is ought to be plenty strong enough for that. Uh, the next thing is a, a hubcap remover tool which I'll show you how that works. Uh, I tried to remove that hubcap with a lot of different ways and I couldn't do it and finally I broke down and bought this tool and it works great. Uh, then you're going to need a, a lug wrench to take the lug nuts off and um, also don't forget to get your spare tire out of the trailer before you do anything. First thing we want to do is to lower the trailer onto your car or your tow vehicle uh, hitch so that uh, it can't roll away from you when you're jacking it up. So I'll go ahead and lower this down. Make sure your tow vehicle's in park and uh, you don't have to hook everything else up. I think that ought to be good enough to keep it from rolling anywhere. Next thing you want to do is to get your spare out of your trailer before you do anything. So uh, mine happens to be, uh, was located underneath the bed. So I went inside and got that and brought it out before I started doing anything. Next thing we want to do is to take off the hubcap. Uh, I bought this special tool uh, online and I'll put a link to it in the description so you can see uh, where to find it. Uh, it costs about I think $13 uh, plus shipping or something like that. And I tried a lot of other ways to get this hubcap off and I, this is the only thing that works that I could see. So the way it works is you got to put it, find a place uh, to get it where it'll fit behind the hubcap and this rubber part will sit against the tire and then you should be able to just pry it off like that. So just pop it off and then we'll put it on later. Next thing we want to do is to loosen the lug nuts. Um, so I've got a lug wrench here and uh, this one is for my car and I tried it just to make sure that it's the right uh, the right size and it looks like it'll fit. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and loosen these up they're pretty tight so we'll go ahead and loosen them all up and uh, then we'll start jacking it up so the next thing I, I have to do is to position the jack underneath the frame of the trailer um, it's not a good idea to put it under the uh, try to jack up the axle because you can throw your tires out of alignment so the frame is really pretty high from the ground so I had to put the jack on top of several pieces of wood and then plus I'm gonna another gonna put another piece of wood right on top of there so that it's got uh, a little cushion there so that it's not pushing right up against the frame so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jack it up from here and let's see uh, if this works So once it looks like the tire is off the ground, see if I can turn it, and I can. So that means that now I can go ahead and take the lug nuts off and replace the tire. So once you get your old tire off, uh, get the new uh, the spare, and put it back on. 
go ahead and put your lug nuts on and tighten them up. Uh, now, since my original tire wasn't flat, I'm not going to put the spare on. I'm going to put the original back on, and then I'll show you how to put the uh, the hub cap back on. So now that the lug nuts are tight, we want to put the hubcap back on. Now, one thing you don't want to do is to use this little hammer to pound the hubcap back on. Well, I tried doing that, and I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, I made some little dents in the hubcap. So the best way to do it is to just do it by hand, kind of get it started. And like that till it's on there that way you won't dent it all up and now you got to do is just uh, take the jack out take the wood and uh, we'll unhook it from the car and it should be ready to go Uh, just a little note um, this is how much wood I needed to put uh, under the jack and between the jack and the frame in order to be able to lift it up so I've got like a, uh, a four by six and uh, four pieces of two by six it looks like uh, so that's quite a bit of wood there so uh, you want to make sure that you've got something to get get underneath that jack so that you can so that it actually works for you.